Hey guys, welcome to a new video and welcome to a new episode of Sunday Studies. So today we're going to take a look at the work of Aiden Zana, which is a concept artist for Naughty Dark. I really love his work and we're going to try to learn something from it. So let's get right into it. All right, here we are on Aiden Zana's art station profile. Um, so I really advise you and encourage you to go and check out his work in more details and uh, just go and follow him because he's posting awesome work. So let's take a, a look at a few of his paintings to try to understand the techniques he uses. Um, uh, I saw an interview about him um, with Modern Day James and he was saying that it was I think it was really interesting that he wanted to use every tool possible to be quicker and more efficient uh, to work smarter and not harder and that's a subject that's close to my heart because um, for a long time I was thinking that you when you you painted you really had to paint everything and um, using 3d or photo bashing was actually cheating and I we really did not want to do that, but I was like completely wrong because it, it's funny what he said in the in the, the, the interview is that you when you paint in digitally, you are already cheating <laughs> because um, you can use Control Z, Control S, Control T, and do almost everything you want, and that's already somewhat cheating. So. What you should, what so you should go all the way and cheat all the way, <laughs> if you know, if you understand what I mean, um, and so you, you should not be afraid to use three D and photo bashing, um, because in the concept art industry it's really important to be as quick and efficient as you can, and so you should use every tool um, that you can to to be better and more efficient and so you can see here in this painting painting that um he uses media scan um uh, oh, if you don't know media scan it's um 3d assets from bridge um, on bridge you can find surfaces and textures and 3d assets and it's really really cool because it allows you to place um objects and really complex objects really quickly, quickly in, a, in a scene. Um, well, be careful though because uh, if you have a slow computer or, or an older one um, it can really um, struggle with that kind of 3D objects that are quite heavy. So yeah, a quick, a quick warning here. So yeah, you can see here that he uses 3D and a lot of concept artists now use 3D, almost everyone. Actually, if you want to survive in the industry, uh, you 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 have to do that. Um, you can see that here he used 3D, but he painted something here, a root here. Um, so he's not um, trapped in the 3D. He can really use it as he wants for the results he wants. And what's interesting too is that he uses a lot of noise in the image to really, to re really bring everything together. So that's interesting. I don't know exactly how it did um, the the characters. Some are concept artists by 3D models. Some um, use photos. Some use the studio. So it might depend. I don't know exactly what he used here, but it looks good. So that's what's most important. Yeah, here. Yeah, I think it's a 3D object. Sometimes it's hard to say. But yeah, he used 3D here, that's for sure. Uh, it, it looks, ah oh man, he, he paints so well. Just these images are really so well done. The compositions and the lighting here and the color temperatures, yes, it's, it's stunning. Uh, this is a really interesting painting because uh, I think it's almost everything done with um, pictures so it's almost a hundred percent for the bashing yeah and even characters i think are from um, models 3d models or or um, pictures that you put a filter on and to make it look uh, simplified and more drawn actually 
Um, speaking of photos, pit reference pictures, uh, it's time to talk about uh, today's video sponsor. It's actually myself <laughs> because I uh, started doing photo packs, reference pictures packs, and it's selling very well right now. Um, it's really useful for photo bashing and references. Um, this one uh, is the best selling right now. It's uh, there are sales on my art station uh, on the art station store, so it's even cheaper now. It's uh, most of the time it's only three bucks. Now it's even cheaper. So get on it while you can, guys. There you go. It's it's a it's a real bargain. Time to go back to the video. Um, so here he uses uh, a very interesting technique that uh, I really love. He doesn't use um, photos or 3D. It, that's actually a study, I think, I believe. Um, but you can see here that uh, there's something weird with these brushes. That's there's a lot of um, noise and a lot of um, different colors and hues superposing each other. And that's actually a quick tip that I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop. It's not really gonna look good now because it's not in the context of a painting, so it's gonna be a bit more abstract. But you have to go in the, the brush presets here, you go in the color dynamics, and then you apply per tip. That's really important here that it's checked. You can change here as you want the, the settings. Yeah, I will let you experiment with that. Uh, use the pen pressure and then start painting. You choose um, a color, any color you want. And you are gonna see here that when you paint, there's gonna be a superposition of um, different colors that are gonna be random. And that's what he used. I think he might have uh, changed um, maybe not change the hue, maybe change a little bit of the saturation and a bit more of the brightness. And so it's gonna be a bit more monochromatic, but um, that works here. And so that's a, that's a really cool technique because I think it, I feel like it, it gives more texture and more noise to your paintings and which would not be there if if you did not use that and I think it more adds more richness and yeah I love using that in my own paintings so that's a great tip for you guys and so yeah I'm gonna show you a bit more of, of his paintings but I encourage you to, to go and check out his work um, and the, the key takeaway here for this um, video is that you really should be open-minded to use as many tools as you can to be more efficient and to have more quali quality to, to your um, work and sometimes you might be really st um, astonished to the work you can produce if you use different tools because I feel like for years I was uh, holding myself back wanting, wanting to only paint of course I got better at painting but I could have created better images sooner so yeah guys um, I hope you learned something from this video. If you liked it, just leave a like and uh, comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel and have a good one, guys. See you next time. Bye.